Hi everybody, hello, Mr. Justin here for the Hernando County Public Library. Thank you so much for joining us for the summer. It's our summer reading program and today we get to imagine your story. So we get to do stories and activities all about folk tales, fairy tales, a bunch of cool stories that a lot of you probably are familiar with and we're gonna do one of those today but we're gonna put a new twist on it. So today we have our steam fairy tale story time activity with the three Billy Goats Gruff. We've all know that story, right? Well, we get to read that, we're gonna tell that story and then we have a little activity that has to do with the story that we have read using those characters and using a little bag that you can come pick up at the library right here and so if um, you haven't picked one of these up yet you can come to the library if we still have them available it's got the supplies you need to do today's activity but today's activity will also use a lot of stuff you might find around your house so you can scrounge all that up and kind of do the activity along with yourself um, with those materials if you would like to. So let's get to our story. Again, like I said, it is the three Billy Goats Gruff. So let's get our stage ready. And here's our stage. It's not much there, right? But we'll, that'll change in a second. So this is the three Billy Goats Gruff. And once upon a time, there were three Billy Goats named Gruff. And they were named... Should we get them out here? I think we should get them out here. They were named Not So Gruff and sort of gruff. And of course, the biggest one of all, mighty gruff. And there they are, one, two, three. Not so gruff, sort of gruff, and mighty gruff. And guess what? They loved to eat fresh clover. And they were walking around one day and they saw this beautiful field full of clover that they have never seen before. And they wanted to eat that clover. The only problem is, is they had to cross a bridge. And that bridge was protected by a big, gross, ugly troll. And guess what that troll liked to eat? You got it. That troll liked to eat goats. And so they wanted to cross the bridge. And they kind of came up with a great idea. So here we go. We're going to start our story with Not So Gruff. There's Not So Gruff right here. And Not So Gruff walked across the bridge and it went like this. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. And the gross, ugly, fat troll came from under the bridge and said, I'm going to eat you up. Yum, 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 yum. And the goat looked around and Not So Gruff said, but why me? I'm too small to eat. If you just wait a couple minutes, my brother's gonna come around. And wait until you see my brother because he is so much bigger than me. So the greedy troll thought about it. He's like, hmm, okay, I'm gonna let you through. So he let Not So Gruff cross the bridge, get to the clover, and let them go free. And then a couple minutes later, sort of gruff came along and walked across the bridge. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. The ugly troll jumped in front of him and said, oh, I'm gonna eat you up. Yum, 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 yum. Me, I am too small to eat, said sort of gruff. Um, if you wait a little longer, wait until you see my brother. My brother's gonna be here in a little bit and he is so much bigger than me. So the wicked troll thought about it some more and was like, okay. And he let Sort of Gruff go free, cross the bridge, and get to that field of clover. And finally, we have our final goat. We have Mighty Gruff. And Mighty Gruff walked across the bridge. Clomp, 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 clomp. And hearing Mighty Gruff's footsteps, the troll smiled. An ugly smile. Can you show me an ugly smile? Right there, there we go. That is a big goat, he said. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna eat him in one bite. The troll <clears throat> jumped in front of Mighty Gruff and yelled, I'm gonna eat you in one bite. Oh, really, said Mighty Gruff. And the troll looked at the goat and he's like, um, he, um, uh, I changed my mind. I think I'm just going to eat salad instead. And he tried to turn around. But at that moment, Mighty Gruff butted the troll off the bridge with a bonk. And the troll fell off the bridge into the river with a splash. Mommy, he cried as he was falling into the river. And so then Mighty Gruff crossed the bridge to join sort of gruff and not so gruff 
in the great, delicious, new, green field of clover. And they were eating that clover in the sunshine, and they lived happily ever after. And that is the story of the three Billy Goat's Gruff. Now, when they were done eating that clover, they crossed the bridge. And of course, the troll didn't give them a, a problem. He was still trying to get out of the water and climb back out. And they went back home. And a couple weeks later, once the clover grew again, they wanted to go back there. But the problem is, is they didn't want to cross the bridge. Because they knew if they crossed the bridge, they'd have to deal with that gross, ugly, mean troll again. And that troll would probably be ready for them this time and probably be even hungrier. And they didn't want to mess with him. So they're like, we got an idea. Maybe we can cross the river instead. But the only problem is, is they had no easy way to cross that river. So they wanted to make a boat. And that's where we all come in. So if you have your kit with you, your little bag that you can pick up at the library, this is going to have all the materials in here for us to build a boat. So let's go ahead and see what we have in here. First, we have our reading activity log, where you can do activities throughout the summer. And if you, when you do 8 to 12, bring it back completed to the library, and you can earn yourself a, a little prize at the library. We also have the story we just told, and so if you want to read it yourself or recreate it yourself, you have that story that you can read. And of course, we have a Ziploc bag full of all the materials that you need in order to build your boat. So let's open this up and see what we got in here. We got several straws. These are paper straws. We got these little felt stems right here. Three of those, or a few of those. We got these little marshmallows. Do not eat these, these aren't real marshmallows. But they look like them. We got string, rods, and of course we've got popsicle sticks. And so what your mission is, you can work alone or work as a group, is to put all these materials together to create a boat. And of course, what does a boat do? A successful boat, it floats. And so what we want you to do is to use these materials. You can use scissors if you need to cut up the string. That's fine. Um, but try not to use tape and glue at first. If it becomes really hard, sure, you can use tape and glue if you have it around the house. But try not to use that. And the goal is to build a boat that will float. So using all these materials, you can wrap things around. You can tie things. And you can then see if it floats. So find a sink, fill a sink up with water, a bathtub maybe, a bin full of water that you filled up, maybe a kiddie pool, um, and then put it on top of the water to see if it floats and you've got a successful boat or if it sinks. If you have a boat that sinks, go ahead, pick it up and try to rework it and try to keep fiddling with it until you have a boat that will finally float. And once you have a floating boat, you can even add a little challenge to it. Start putting things, little toys or coins on top of the boat. See how many it's going to take, how heavy it can go before your boat sinks. Because again, we're putting goats on these boats. So we want to make sure that they're nice and sturdy and they can float so our goats can cross the river to eat the clover. So once you have your boat that can float, we're going to want to see what your boats look like. So if you want to have a parent or yourself take a picture of it and post it on our social media page, our Facebook, any of our social medias, you can go ahead and just share what your boat looks like. Because I want to see what creative things you all come up with. And you might have noticed I didn't create my own boat. I have just all the materials here because I didn't want to give you any ideas. I want you to come up with your own boat, see what you can come up with either by yourself or in a group. And so show, share your boats today. We want to see uh, what you can come up with to successfully get those three billy goats gruff across the river. So again, this is our Three Billy Goats Gruff uh, themed steam fairy tale. And uh, throughout the summer, we're going to have a few more. We've got Jack and the Beanstalk coming up. We've got Humpty Dumpty coming up. We've got uh, Three Little Pigs coming up. So please join us um, throughout the summer. And everyone, every one of those programs will have their own little bag you can come pick up. Uh, that will give you all the materials you need. Or you can do it at home with your own materials that you get around the house. So thank you so much for joining us. Again, my name is Mr. Justin. And we'll see you next time. Have a good summer. Bye.